Well, it's I'm pretty amazed, you know, when you look back and stuff, because I was, uh, and I'll reference some of this in, when I give my little talk, but I was uh, never a good athlete at all, but I was always interested in athletes, and I liked athletics, and I liked, uh, I kept up with things and uh, enjoyed uh, writing about them. And keep, every ball game when I was a kid going to, I always kept track of the scoring, so I'd have the information when the game was over, not have to wait till the, story came out in the paper or something like that you know so I was always uh, I kind of wanted a little more information than was usually available and I think that kind of led me to the track but you know people had some faith in me I guess and I got a job with a weekly newspaper in Shadron and I've hardly ever left there since then that was kind of the thing <laughs> yeah that wasn't right at all but uh what happened was uh, two referees were coming from uh, like LaGrange Wyoming and uh, they uh they got picked up for speeding twice because uh, they got picked up once uh, close to their home and then the re the uh, the uh, patrolman radioed ahead and said watch these two guys i think they're in a big hurry and so they got them again so it was really really late and the thing about it was that uh, after the game was it, this 30 minute delay or something and we had Matt Hibbert was the guy's name. He was a really, really good national anthem singer, but he had to wait around for 30 minutes to wait to, before he sang the national anthem, too. And when he did, he forgot the words, you know. And so after the game was all over, I called the Associated Press, and they said, well, anything unusual happened? I said, well, yeah, we kind of had something different. I said, uh, uh, you know, we had to delay the game because the referees got picked up twice for speeding on the way to Shadron, and then the national anthem singer, when he sang the national when well, he forgot the words. And anyway, the next day it said, and your national, Paul Harvey said, and the national anthem singer, Con Marshall, forgot the words. Well, it wasn't, I had one, been the one that told him the story, but it wasn't me that forgot the words. And I, I, heaven forbid, I never sang the national anthem. But anyway, that was one thing. Oh, I don't remember that, but we, I, I always like to get pictures of that. We had some crazies. We, at that time, we had a, uh, our, uh, gymnastics teacher at the college loved to get on do some crazy things and uh, you know he'd get he'd pretend like he didn't he was a, just a, a uh, bum that had come out from the stands and there'd be these kids doing all kinds of things on the trampoline and then he'd just walk out and then he'd come through and stick his head through the springs and stuff like that and and uh, anyway so some I don't remember about that but uh, but we, we did we, that was one of the act, halftime acts was a uh, the karate guys would jump over a bunch of people and then break the boards, you know, with their feet and stuff. It was it was pretty entertaining in some days, and that was early in my career, and uh, I've never seen anything like it since then, you know. And I someday I hope to write a book and put together some of these things that uh, are memories like that, you know, that are interesting things. And so we'll see how that goes. I was probably the last guy in uh, my class, almost anyway, in my high school class that. Uh, I always say I was small, scared, and slow. All three of them. I got over being small, but I, never, I still was scared. I and I didn't want like contact at all, and I couldn't run. But I did enjoy the other being watching the other athletes, and I um, always paid attention to what was going on in the games, and I tried to learn what they were doing, and I congratulated them, I think, and talked to them, and uh, I, I was one of their big fans, and that's kind of what I still am, was one of the big fans of uh, of these athletes, you know, that came along, and uh, and uh, I can still, I think. It's kind of strange, I'm sure, because I'm sure that in my lifetime I've gone to way, way more games than all the all conference and all state guys that I were in high school and I did, you know, since then. Because uh, it's been my whole life has been athletics, not entirely athletics, because you see over there I also wrote the college's 100th anniversary book and the 75th anniversary book, and I I do many, many other things that are not related to athletics. But in those days when when I first started, why athletics was probably about half the time at, and the rest I had to cover the other things too, you know, had to take pictures of the homecoming queen and put out the honor roll and the dean's list and get all the stories about the uh, fine arts kids that were having uh, awards and stuff like that and, and getting honors and stuff like that besides also the sports things. So besides and sports has been no, something that really, really enjoyed and it was fine to have to spend a lot of hours doing it.